Hey guys, well I'm out here in my shop and I've been working on the uh, the Buick wagon here, trying to get it stripped apart. Um, some of you have commented that it still has life in it, but oh man, it would take too much time to fix that. It's just not worth our time. The frame is bending uh, right behind the driver's seat. Um, really terrible place to bend. The front frame rail is kinked in the front and pulled way over. And by the time I get it pulled back, it's just not worth the effort. So at this point, we're uh, pretty much just going to scrap it and move on to the next project. Um, our time is worth more than uh, than anything. So going to take it apart. I almost got it completely taken apart, actually. It's got the wheels, tires, and I got to pull the motor. So I have it here in my shop. And well, when I pulled it in at the end of the season, I backed it in. And that was apparently a stupid idea because... Back in there is my little bump out where I'm going to have my engine lift and that's where I'm going to actually pull the motor and keep it stored while I build uh, my upcoming vehicles. More videos on those later. Uh, pretty excited actually, but uh, back to this project. I need to turn this car around. Now, that in itself doesn't sound too bad. You know, you just open up the doors and, uh, you know, turn it around. Well, here in Indiana, we've got a fair bit of snow and a pretty hardy drift going in front of the door over there where I actually need to get the car. So, with all the snow, I now have to figure out how to be creative. Well, I could go out and buy some of those car dollies, you know, put it, the four underneath each wheel, one each under, under the four set, uh, put one under each wheel, and, you know, that is certainly an option, but I just um, can think of other ways I'd like to spend my money, so I'm going to get here a little, be a little creative. I got my nice jack here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack up the back end so both the wheels are off the ground. And uh, we're going to kind of scooch this corner over, kind of pivot, uh, back it up, and then turn it around and then pivot around. And then actually, well, basically, essentially, just completely turn the car around so it's facing the other direction so I can pull the motor. So just something, uh, kind of some difficulties having at the moment because obviously with the snow, I can't just pull it out, but I still want to get this thing out of here, or at least finish tearing it apart so I can move on to the next project. So uh, once the snow melts, I can get this thing out of here. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing started and uh, see how it goes. This ought to be kind of fun. Alright, so I got the jack underneath the rear end. I've got both wheels suspended up off the ground, at least enough to move it. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start pulling on this. Actually, probably would be safer to actually pull on the car and just direct the jack versus pulling the jack because the jack might want to just pull right out. So, um, it's kind of hard to do this in videotape at the same time, but essentially what I'm going to do is just pull and use this as a pivot. This is lifting and I'm just going to use the wheels on the jack to actually roll the car around. With uh, all the interior and everything out, this thing should be pretty light in the back end. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and just start inching it out and around and hopefully turn this thing around. Alright, so I got the car pulled over a little bit, um, but just due to clearance, I don't really want to move all my stuff here, um, so I'm just going to be lazy, I guess. So I dropped it down. Um, I've got a lot of room up here in the front, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll the car forward, then that'll give me a little bit more room to, uh, to ultimately get it to turn around. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to try to turn the wheels that way, so that way they're facing more towards the direction I actually want to end up, ultimately. So we're going to go ahead and uh, push this car forward a little bit and then uh, going to turn the wheels and then do it again and then just keep walking it until uh, it gets sideways and then eventually facing the other direction. Alright, so we got the car eh, most of the way turned uh, about 90 degrees here if I was to have a guess. So what we're going to do is uh, since we're going to kind of tighten this corner I'm going to push the car back over in this section of the garage, then pull it forward to get the front end, you know, more towards that part of the barn. Then we're going to swing the back end around a little bit, and then just kind of pull it forward, come back, and then hopefully pull it forward into its final position. And then um, once I get my engine lift back, I'll put that in there, but at least it'll be in facing the right direction and tucked up in there so that way I can actually uh, get some work done on it and have a little more room here in the garage to store some stuff while the snow continues to fall down. So we're going to go ahead and push this thing back and then uh, hopefully the next time you guys see it, it'll be facing a little more into that corner. Hey guys, well we got the car here um, a little bit more closer to where we wanted to go. Um, so now it's taking up the, the, uh, the regular two car garage um, where I'm going to park my car. My girlfriend's going to park her van. Um, so I've got those vehicles out at the moment. 
Uh, so we got it pulled in over here. Uh, I'm going to probably swing the back end a little bit more and then pull it up. Bring it back one last time and then we should be sitting pretty um, pretty. pretty. Uh, after that, this is a 12 by 12 bump out that I have on the back of this uh, basically three car pole building. And um, that's where I'm going to have the engine lift and that's where I'm going to keep the engine stored while I'm building uh, my other vehicles. Um, so we're going to just keep walking in along here and we'll be done uh, hopefully in the next couple minutes. All right, so here we go. Got it uh, turned around. So it wasn't too difficult. It was um, just uh, a little bit of brute force. <laughs> kind of tired at the moment because I've been doing this all by myself and the floor's kind of dirty so the jack isn't rolling super great. But basically, just pulled it forward as I said, um, pushed the back end out, uh, dropped it down, pushed it forward a little bit, then swung the back end around the rest of the way and here we are. It is facing the other direction and it is pretty much uh, ready to go in the spot with the engine lift there. Once we get the engine lift in here and uh, be ready to pull the motor. There's the jack. I gotta get that out of there. But so there you go. Um, just kind of a fun little project that we uh, had to work around with all the snow outside. We needed the car turned around and had to get creative. So sometimes when you don't have the money to go out and buy the stuff like those dollies or whatever, a nice sturdy floor jack um, underneath the rear end, you jack it up. Uh, you can swing the back end right around and just work your way um, around. Just as long as you take your time, do the front end, roll forward or back, whatever you gotta do, you can make it happen. So there you go guys, short video showing you how uh, we worked around a little bit of an issue and um, here we go. Now we're ready to get the engine pulled. So until the next video, I guess we'll talk to you later guys. Welcome.